Welcome to my allotment. It's the middle of October. Today I'm going to be showing you how I uh, work my composter. So if you've not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, if you could please do so. Lots of helpful hints and tips from my home garden, my allotment and also my home kitchen. So first of all, I'm going to show you how my composting system works. and I'm going to show you how I dig it over and what I combine into it to get an effective um, compost to then put on my allotment to help put nut nutrition back into the soil. So I've got three bays here where I move each bit of um, composting material into, the, into each one. Now this one here is the bit that's composted down the very most. So if I get my fork, as you can see, this is good soil because this has been turned over it's had carbon and animal manure mixed in with it and that is pretty much good to go on the allotment now i could put that on now but i've actually decided to compost it down a little bit more with the next one which is almost composted down now this isn't completely composted down but i will turn that over into there and then that will compost down over the winter now as i turn that over if it's particularly soggy i will add a little bit of shredded paper to it because it will help it compost down because it won't compost down if it's too soggy so digging it over adds air into the into, into the compost and it helps it break down so it's an essential part you can't just pile it up and leave it to rot it has to be turned over to get the air into it and for the natural processes to work so my next job now is to just literally it's quite a long job move this with my shovel over into this composter here so sometime later and i'm not going to lie i'm a little bit tired and so is my cameraman we've moved all the compost that was in the bottom of the middle one over into the end one and as you can see that's pretty good as well so i could probably stick that on my allotment if i wanted to now but i'm going to leave it for a bit a little bit longer i'd rather it rot down because there are still a few little twiggy bits in there so i've then taken the green that was in there and I've layered it up with a mixture of manure and shredded paper. So I've got, I had a, a layer of green, then I put some shredded paper and then I put some manure. And so I layered it up to the top. Now, because my composter is quite dry and twiggy, I haven't put that much shredded paper in. If it had been quite wet, so I'd got a lot of grass cut cuttings in there, or just for any reason it seemed quite soggy, I would have put more shredded paper in. But because it wasn't, I've not put so much. So mine's mainly actually the manure and the green waste that I've got from my allotment. Now, one really important thing when you're digging over your allotment is to consider the wildlife when you're doing this, because there is every chance you'll come across some and you don't want to harm it. The things you're looking out for are slow worms, and hedgehogs now if you find slow worms like we have done that's perfectly okay to carry on digging but if you find a hedgehog you must stop digging that composter out because you could harm it now if you do find a slow worm you can carry on digging and if you do it this time of year it's still warm enough for the slow worms to rehome themselves where they want to go probably underneath another that composter and they'll be perfectly okay, but just obviously be mindful when you're digging it out. Last year, we, we cut a lot of the trees and there was a lot of twiggy matter in the bottom of this composter. And that's where you're very likely to find. So when we got to that bit and we decided to leave it a little bit longer and let that break down a bit more, because there was probably every chance if we started digging into that, we might have found something. And to be fair, we dug over quite a lot there anyway. So we were perfectly happy with that. So a top tip I would really recommend is when you build your composter is have sides that you can just slide out so when i when you start to move it over you can literally slide it out and start to move the stuff over and then when it's done you can slide it back and that really saves you a lot of time and makes life an awful lot easier when you're doing your composting so i really hope that i've given you some really useful hints and tips on composting but if you've got any comments or questions please do to please do let us know and we will do our best to answer them.